In this screencast, we'll see how we can fail a build or block an artifact download by defining policies and watches in JFrog X-Ray. X-Ray is a universal component DevSecOps tool that protects you from security vulnerabilities and license compliance issues that may be hidden in your software. It does this by recursively scanning the components in your system, drilling down to analyze even the smallest binary component that affects your software, and by continuously performing impact analysis on all artifacts it has indexed, identifying the problematic artifacts it's aware of from its vulnerability data set, and mapping out exactly which components are affected. It's connected to public and private providers, including NVD and VulnDB databases, providing comprehensive vulnerability intelligence. This is displayed in the form of an impact analysis graph, which we'll see later on in this video. So X-Ray monitors builds or repositories in Artifactory for policy violations. Each time a monitored build is updated or an artifact is deployed to a monitored repository, X-Ray will scan it and its dependencies and trigger a violation if any of the policies are met. Let's open up the X-Ray tab in the JFrog platform and take a look at how we can create a policy and a watch and configure it to fail a build. Policies allow us to define security and license compliance behaviors specific to your organization. Once they're defined, they are enforced by applying them to watches. In this video, we'll take a look at a policy that we've already created of the type security. It contains one rule that defines the behaviors we want to enforce. Our rule is set with a high severity criteria. So this rule is set to trigger two actions. It will block downloads of artifacts with these vulnerabilities from Artifactory, as well as unscanned artifacts. And it'll also fail the build in case they contain components with these critical severity vulnerabilities. Additional actions are also available to you in these rules. For example, you can configure the rule to trigger an email notification or trigger a webhook. Let's move on and take a look at how this policy is actually enforced using a watch. Watches define the scope of the resource you want to look at. Here, we've already created a watch that includes several repositories and builds and has our policy assigned to it. Policies can be reused and assigned to multiple watches, so you don't have to click around and create a ton of these. Now, let's hop over to the Artifactory tab and look at a project we've already deployed. Deploying the artifact to Artifactory triggered X-Ray's watch to scan it, and since it meets the policy, this artifact will be tagged as blocked for download. You can see here that it's showing an X-Ray status of high. If we click on it, we see two vulnerabilities that violate the policy set. Let's get a little more information and click on one of them. Here is the impact analysis graph I mentioned earlier. We can drill down into the package to see the descendants of the specific file that contains the vulnerability within all of the layers. So here we see that we're about four layers deep in Go example build two in this project, in this package, and there's the specific thing that's causing a problem. It's an old version of Golang. So that concludes our JFrog platform X-Ray screencast. As we saw, JFrog X-Ray gives us quick granular information about any security or license issues within our packages stored in Artifactory according to whatever policy you want to define. For more information on this and the rest of the JFrog platform, as well as a free trial, go to jfrog.com.